matter lies our fear one thing by having a lot of thoughts you know how long you have been suffering from fear maybe for the last 10 years really are you crazy so i mentalized my fear that is not a reflex action so mentalize means that i keep on thinking Got it. So it means one thing is very clear, my friend, that survival mechanism is there. The snake is there. I will jump out of the fear to save myself. Bear is there. Tiger is there. Criminal is there. That's purely a reflex action. And there we do not need to think. Instant reaction is there. Correct. Second is that I create a thought of a fear and then I'm scared. No, no, get ready. Don't go to Colorado. It's very cold and you are not, you cannot tolerate cold. So this is a mental fear I have created. Yeah. yeah. Why don't I use the intellect? Have some warm clothes as many as possible let me use the wisdom if i have to go to colorado let me go there where's the problem so first part to understand that not only the thought causes triggers these emotions of fear and anxiety duality and a conflict but why Ask yourself why. And what is the answer? It is because of misunderstanding. I start dreaming, oh, the bear is there outside. Come on. Come on. So I create an imagination of a bear and then I am scared. Yeah. yeah, I imagined death, and so there is a fear of death. We should be clear that one thing, one problem is the thought. Maybe a thought of anxiety, thought of a fear, a thought of other negative emotions. But behind that emotion, the cause is my ignorance. I don't realize there is no reason, but I have imagined. It, it seems, seems like, like it seems, seems so, so silly, silly when, when, we, when, when you, you talk, talk about, about it. Yes, like, yes, it yes. Yes. You should realize that it is silly so that the <laughs> mind will continue to contemplate and reflect and it will should remove the silliness. Yeah, yeah. silly is a good, good word, word for it. For it. It's yes. just, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like the, the rope, rope snake. snake. Yes, it's a rope snake. So that is why our tradition says you have to you have to listen the knowledge of the Eastern wisdom. It should be heard from the teacher. It should not be you even if you read it, it will not help you. It should be heard from the teacher again and again and question the way you instantly spontaneously said it's a silly you do it and you blame that it is a silliness of the mind so yeah. that is creating an impression in your mind will go a long way that is why your master says it should be heard it should be contemplated, reflected again and again and again. When it is reflected again and again, the mind removes the doubt and the wrong perception. Then it is clear. And once you have a clarity, mind has a hundred percent faith, you are already in the state of meditation. You need not to practice. 
So we'll go a little deeper. We understood the two things. That's the right word. You use the word silly. So first is that if I have a thought of fear, then the, I imagined fear, and then I have a lot of thoughts continuously moving into my mind, even if there is no real threat, there is no real fear. Why it is there? Because of ignorance. Two points. Now go to the third point. Let us dissect this thought. What is this thought? What do you mean by thought? So we give a mathematical equation. Thought is equal to object plus I am. Thought is equal to object plus I am. That object may be a person, may be an animal, may be a place. People have a fear for high places. Place, that object is the place. I'm scared of a tiger, so object is the tiger. Yeah. I have an anxiety, so the anxiety is an object plus I am. That is how you say I am in anxiety. I'm scared. So scared is an object and I am. Yeah. Take an example. So, does the any object contains the fear? So, thought is equal to object plus I am. So, now we are examining whether that object contains the fear. I don't want to touch the mouse, you know, I'm scared. So I want to ask myself, does this mouse has or possess the fear in it? No. There is no fear. So my, I imagine, my mind imagined the fear and then it says I don't want to touch the mouse. So object do not contain the fear whether it's a bear or a tiger or anything or any person yeah. yeah they are not made up of fear and i am i am also do not of uh, my nature is also not fear because i don't live in fear 24 by 7 so now the next question comes from where the fear has come <laughs> answer that question definitely it is a silly thing where, where does the fear, fear come, come from? from yeah it's a wrong notion i see the snake in the rope i imagined i created the fear why, why do we do that, that though? Why, why do, do people, people do, do that? that yeah why we do that why we do that yes first thing we do that and it is a wrong notion i am do not contain the fear i am not my nature is not fear otherwise i would have been uh, in the state of the fear all the time but that is not true so it means my nature is not fear that is very clear no object in the world contains fear you go to safari you see the tiger and the lion is very near you. So it may, from where the fear has come. So we say that fear is a negative emotion. And that emotion is already stored in the mind. But why it is stored in the mind? It is stored in the mind for survival instinct. But, so I don't use my right understanding, I don't use the right knowledge to check 
this emotion of fear. I simply follow the mind because this mind is impulsive, this mind is instinctive, and then I imagine the fear, then I have a thought of fear, and then I am depressed or suppressed or anxious. I continue to live with the fear by thinking, by a thought, and thought is equal to object plus I am. Neither I am nor an object contains the fear I am unnecessarily. That is, you rightly said, then this is, I'm a silly guy. Yeah, yeah it's silly. silly. So now, can, uh, what is the mathematical equation? Thought equal to object plus I am. Clear? Now calculate I am is equal to thought minus object. In your mind, you remove the object in the thought, the fear will go away. But you have to do it in your mind, consciously. Give me an example. I am scared of death. This is a sentence. So thought is equal to death plus I am. So you're, so you're saying, saying remove, remove death? death? Death is a thought, is a word. In a thought, death is a word. In a complete yes. sentence. So in a complete sentence is a thought minus death is equal to I am. Nick. Hey, hey, why? Without any object in a thought, I cannot have a fear, I cannot have an anxiety, I cannot have a duality. I, I, so with that object, I imagine. But, but that, that is, is a real, real thing. thing. Really? You just uh -huh. said silly and now you're saying it's a real thing. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Where your mind is going on? Uh, no. no I mean, it's, I'm just, just saying, saying isn't, isn't it? it? Is it not silly that I imagine the fear of death? Oh, 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 oh yes, 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 that, that is, is silly. silly. Yes. That is silly. Yes. yes. So I am sitting in my home, you are sitting in your home, your pet is there to protect you. No, no she's, she's like, like six pounds. pounds. She's not... <laughs> Even then they will bark and protect you. <laughs> now your mind says, I am scared of death. Where are you? You are in your home. You are sitting comfortably, you are listening to me and the mind is imagining I'm scared of the day. Is it not silly? No, it's silly. So I have to recognize that. How to recognize? Thought minus death is equal to I am, I am free. What, what about, about the feeling, feeling now? now? It's, it's always, always I, I feel, feel it makes, makes me feel nervous. nervous. My, my body feels nervous. nervous. You, know, you know, my, my heart, heart will palpitate. palpitate. It's, it's the, the feelings, feelings that, that are the scariest. scariest. But, but I guess, I guess it, it starts, starts with a thought. thought. Yes, first is a thought. So if you keep on repeating that I'm scared of death, I'm scared of the death, and that is the mantra in your mind, within a week, you will not be able to get out of the home and you cannot do any work. So thought triggers the feeling. That is what I taught. And that feeling is, is imagined. It's a wrong notion. We are living in ignorance. So what should I do? So the moment any thought of a fear and the anxiety comes, use the mantra. Simple peace is my essential nature. The mind imagines that you have a fear and you are an anxiety. No, 
peace is my essential nature. Now the thought of the death is coming. No peace is my essential nature. What you did? Mind was following one track and you ask the mind there is a crossroad. One is going to the feeling with the fear and it creates a millions of impressions and the other road goes to peace is my essential nature. It is a fact and it is a truth. <clears throat> you are not controlling the thought of a fear. You are not suppressing the thought of a fear. You said, okay, you continue. Peace is my essential nature. Now I'm scared of death, but peace is my essential nature. Now, I'm, now the bear is waiting for me outside. No, peace is my essential nature. So your intellect is conscious enough to create another thought, a new thought. Why is, is it a thought? Because it is, it is going to replace it. Is it that just a mantra? Mantras don't work. work. Mantra, if we are a seeker, every mantra works. If we are not a seeker, no mantra works. So if I give a room to a thought of a fear and I'm not repeating consciously a mantra, then obviously it will fail. You see that. You have imagined a fear. Now your mind says, I don't want to leave this fear. One option. Second option, your intellect says you are on a crossroad. You have this choice to that I'm scared of death is your mantra or the peace is my essential nature is a mantra. You have to choose one. Then it will work. Can Can you, did you understand? You are sitting inside your home and enjoying and listening to me. And you imagine that you have a fear. You are alone. Mm -hmm. The ghost will come. It is all imagined. And second thought, I'm living alone. Space is there. Space means the peace. There is no one to disturb me. I'm living in peace and happiness within myself. Chuck. Chuck. So the mantra will definitely <clears throat> will only work if consciously you have a choice. You are driving a car and there is no exit and you say I will forcibly exit, it will not work. Okay. okay. So what happens with the emotions of fear anxiety, depression. The mind gets obsessed with it, with imagined fear and anxiety. So it follows the highway. It sees the ramp, but it does not want to take a ramp. What is that ramp? Hum shantuham. Mind, keep on. Imagining fear, but I'm peace. Shantaham. So you break the rhythm. <coughs> you break the rhythm of a wrong notion. They will not continue for long. Why? They are wrong. That is ignorance. That is silliness. But what you are saying that I am peace, Shantaham, is a reality. So the wrong notion cannot live, sustain for long against what is reality. What, what about, about you, don't you don't feel peaceful? peaceful. Are you, Are you saying, saying it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter how I feel? feel? 
like, like what, what are, are feelings, feelings? <clears throat> emotions are automatic unconscious errors so then they trigger a feeling feeling means a conscious experience so first there is a emotion then you have a subconscious thought of a fear and that fear triggers a conscious experience of a feeling that may not be a feeling of fear but your thought process has created and branded that feeling as a fear that feeling may not be of the fear just touch your right hand with the left hand do you feel it yeah, yeah. so is the fear like this you start examining let me examine the fear oh fear is like this sensation no fear is like this sensation your intellect will say only no and the fear is gone why conscious mind cannot entertain fear conscious mind cannot entertain anxiety what do you mean When you are aware, when you are conscious, in that state of self-awareness, you can never have a feeling of fear. Do you? Are you scared now? No. no. You cannot be. You cannot plan to be angry. You cannot plan to have a fear at 7 p.m. today. Because we lose awareness and in that awareness we have a feeling in that lack of awareness emotion triggers we remember them, we repeat them, we think about them. So we have an imagined fear, that imagined fear causes feeling of fear, different types of sensations. So those sensations may not be the feeling of fear, but I have already imagined. I have imagined. I gave you your example. I have imagined the snake in the rope. Don't follow any mantra. Satsang Satsang means listening to these principles and recalling these principles at the time of the fear, anxiety, duality and a conflict, you evoke your intellect to start analyzing in your mind. But if you do not evoke your intellect, you do not start thinking Those emotions or those thoughts of the fear or anxiety will take over your mind. <clears throat> so by listening, 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 the time comes, the mind start living into that awareness. So you find the crossroad. Imagine fear goes to the right. the right notion on the left, the moment you have chosen the left by thinking, by reflecting, what happens? You detach yourself from the fear by thinking only. By the thinking you have an imagined fear, by thinking with the right knowledge, 
you have dropped that attachment to the fear and the thoughts of the fear. So this is, this is known as the discernment. What is discernment? That you separate it. I gave you that example a couple of times. You have a black lentil or black beans mixed with the rice. Based on the physical properties of the rice, white in color, small and ecliptical in shape, you separate it from the black beans. Yes. yes. So if you have to separate the milk from the water, there are machines available, you separate it. So I have to separate real from the unreal. What is unreal? Fear. What is real peace? How to do it? I have to think and contemplate. Crossroads. This is one part. This is the second. I become aware. I choose this path. You enter into the process of discernment. So the moment you enter into the process of discernment, you enter into a state of detachment. So in the state of detachment, you recognize mind deluded me by an imagined fear. The moment you have that recognition, you live into that awareness, there any mantra becomes the most powerful mantra. It removes the delusion. And then what happens? You are settled comfortably. But again, question comes, why I am born with the emotions of fear? We evolved from animal kingdom. Animal kingdom have the four, animal, four instincts. Food, sex, sleep, and fear. So sometimes instead of the fear, we say we have is Animals have a sense of safety. It is instinct. It is reflex. Hunger is also an emotion. Sexual pleasure or reproduction. To say it correctly, it's a sense of reproduction. No tiger thinks that I have to continue my generation. It is in the chip. The way the computer has a chip, same way they have an animal mind. So what is this animal mind? Animal mind follows the instinct. What is instinct? They work unconsciously. They don't work with the thinking. It is automatic. We yeah. say they are automatic survival mechanisms. So when we do not understand, the same animal instinct is also present in our mind. But at the same time, this existence has given us an intellect that is free intellect to think, to contemplate, to reflect one aspect and second aspect, they have given us a higher self-awareness. I can give you millions of examples. Tiger can kill us either through their paws and mouth. 
These are their two strong instruments. How many instruments we have to kill the tiger? Hundreds. Why we have hundreds? Because we are given an intellect. Why we have hundreds? Because we, we, are, we are living at a higher self-awareness. Don't you want to live with a higher self-awareness because you are a human being? No, no, I want to live with my imagined fear. So live it, then suffer. But this thing has to be done in the mind. Did you understand this point? Yeah. yeah. To say only that I'm a human being will not work in your life. To be a human being is to work, to use the intellect, to use the higher level of self-awareness. What the higher self, and I, I have an ability to think. <clears throat> Tiger is going to attack me in the same way, animally, habitually, impulsively, instinctively. But I have an intellect, I can think of hundreds of ways to save myself. So I have hundreds of ways. Mind, I recognize you. You have created a fear in me. You are dealing consciously with that emotion of the fear and the feeling both. You are dealing it with consciously. Why deal with consciously? Because we are a human being. We live at a higher self-awareness. We can use the intellect. We can think. No, I don't want to use you. Tell me the solution of getting rid of the fear. No, it will not go. If you do not think. Because you have created an imagined fear <coughs> Have you heard about placebo? Placebo, yeah. Yeah, placebo, yeah. Our doctors have found the placebo of hundreds of illnesses. It's crazy. crazy. Because there is no, no reason no. to be scared. There is no reason to have an anxiety. But still, I complain and I blame. It is lack of awareness. So the doctor realizes it's a lack of awareness. Then he says, here are the pills. Three pills in the morning, three pills in the afternoon. Your fear will go away. And it goes away. But uh, it returns again. So what is the important point today we are, you think, when you have an imagined fear or a real fear, you think. Why, what I am saying, you think, okay, okay, no, 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 I have a fear, I'm um, grip, okay, mind, oh, you have a fear, yes, okay, let me experience, uh, this is the sensation of fear, no. Now my heart is beating. So if the heart stops, then what will happen? Then you have a real fear. Let the heart beat. Are you dying? No. No, but I feel the heart is beating faster. So am I okay? Even if the heart is beating faster, yes, I'm okay. But that's why I'm thinking. That's how I'm, uh, I'm aware. You are driving away the imagined fear with those conscious feeling and experiences. The Master Eastern Wisdom says, you need not to believe in a dogma called belief, release, and mantra. First understand. Understanding how you understand by a thought. 
Thought is the product of knowledge. When you say, I'm scared, it is a thought. So that thought contains some knowledge. Feeling of fear. So let me examine, where is the fear? Yeah, I have a knowledge of fear. That's why you experience. I'm happy. So happiness is my essential nature. Now, this is a thought. Examine this thought. If happiness is my essential nature, my friend, can I be happy being scared? No. Can I be happy being unhappy? No. But why no? Neither unhappiness nor fear are my essential nature. Do I want happiness? Yes. Am I seeking peace and happiness? Yes. That is why they are my essential nature. So it means the fear and anxiety are imagined. Why it is imagined? Because I'm, it has a wrong knowledge, misunderstanding, wrong notion. So I have to think. Thinking is a wonderful ability of the man. So emotions of fear and the anxiety results into emotional dependence. It hijacks the intellect. It hijacks the intellect. And when it hijacks the intellect, you only have one thought. Oh, I have a lot of fear. You see that my heart is beating fast. Heart is beating. Heart will beat. Otherwise, you won't live. <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Tiger is attacking me. Where is the tiger? There is no tiger in the room. Can the tiger at, um, enter into Phoenix area? No. Unnecessary. So because I do not think, so imagine thoughts with the wrong notion, wrong knowledge, now is creating a symptoms in my body, feeling and experiences. That is what you are asking me. That how to get rid of those feelings. So go to the root. So we examine. I told you, what is a thought? Thought, every thought conveys a knowledge. I have to examine whether this particular thought, what is that? I am scared. Whether this thought contains the right knowledge or the wrong knowledge, examine it. You stop examination, mind becomes an animal mind. You start examining through the intellect, the mind follows you. Are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. So, thought contains the knowledge. Only the intellect decides if it is a right or wrong. If it is a misunderstanding or understanding. Because the intellect has a choice. Mind do not have a choice because it is impulsive. You have an emotion of a fear inside. That is an automatic survival, so-called. But it creates unnecessary emotion of fear. Then you have a thought, and from the thought you have a feeling. Then you say, I'm scared. Now I will die. How many times your mind said that I will die? How many times you have died until today? <laughs> Don't you realize it's a wrong knowledge? Mind is supplying again and again. Yeah. And corresponding emotion is created 
in your storehouse of the mind. So when you are doing Shantoham, when you are using the mantra, you are replacing those impressions by the mantra. It doesn't make any difference. You do it daily. Shantoham, Shantoham, I am the peace. That is the meaning. Or Om Shanti 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 or anyone. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, let everyone be happy. Sarve Sham Swastir Bhavatu. You are replacing. You say, mind, this is your path, that is not your path. Mind says, I am scared. You say, Om Shanti, peace is my essential nature. So you, when you do it consciously, you recognize in your head, this is not your part of the fear and the negative emotion, this is your part. Because both the thought contains the knowledge. One thought contains the knowledge of the fear that is imagined. The other thought contains the knowledge of peace. Because peace is my essential nature, because I want peace, because I'm seeking peace. So my intellect says, no, I will continue. As long as the mind will continue with the thought of the fear, I will continue with the thought of peace. That is the power of mind. That is the power. You were asking me. I am stressed. Mind should instantly recognize and you replace with the thought, I am not worthy of suffering. That is your mantra. Mantra is not that, you know, every time you use the uh, Sanskrit mantra. Don't use it. Is anybody, is anybody worthy, worthy of, of suffering? suffering? No one is worthy of suffering, but mind imagines that we are worthy of suffering, so they suffer. I am upset. Instantly the mind should say, no, being upset is caused by the wrong notions. Peace is already within me. Question comes, why we cannot say and think with the right notion? Mind follows the animal nature. Mind is impulsive. It can trigger any emotion unconsciously. Conscious mind or means the intellect should think. You, are, you always think consciously. When I, when I say that you think, it means you are thinking consciously. The mind is impulsive, instinctive, habitual. It forgets. The mind does not know what is right and wrong. Intellect knows what is right and wrong. I have to think. When? When the fear comes. When? Every day. Listening to the talk and then understanding. Okay, let me think. You start thinking, is, let me question, is peace is my essential nature? Think about it. Am I seeking peace? Yes, I'm always. When you want peace, when I want peace, what do you mean? I want peace all the time, in all locations, in all situations, in all relations. What do you mean? So, when I want peace at all time, in all locations, in all situations, with everyone, means I am also present. Who is this I am? Peace. Can this I am, can be in anxiety? No. Then why I have anxiety or why I have a fear? So I examine. I find it is imagined. 
why it is imagine imagine means you know i i should i can imagine elephant is flying in the sky that does not make a sense but i'm scared that makes a sense come on come on exactly when i have a fear it is exactly like a thought that the elephant is flying in the sky the dog has a horn i see the snake in a row yeah, yeah. So this mind is habitual, repetitive, instinctive, impulsive. Instinctive, impulsive means that something pops up without my thinking. And then mind creates a thinking and it becomes an emotion of fear and anxiety. You can control your dog by food. Can anyone control you? I'm don't uh, be offensive. Can, I, can you be controlled by anyone offering you a food every time? No. no. Why not? Intellect. Why don't you use the intellect? I get carried away. Why I get carried away? My mind is impulsive. What is being impulsive and uh, instinctive? I don't know from where this emotion of fear has triggered and then it has imagined. I give you one example every time I'm repeating. The tiger jumps onto the tree. It is regulated. It is controlled. They don't have, in, they are intelligent. They have an intellect, but their intellect is also controlled. So that is why the tiger jumps on the tree full of fruits looking at a prey where he can find the prey. But the tiger cannot eat the fruit and meet his hunger. We have a choice. Intellect has a choice. Oh, today I don't get the non-vegetarian, so let it, I will eat the fruit also. I don't use my intellect, animal mind works on me. I use my intellect, I take over. Clear. So if we move further, pick up another continu continuity. So keep on watching and observing how the mind invites, or I would say unwelcome, uninvited thought enters into the mind. Why they enter? Because it contains an element of desire, but from where it has come, we have a corresponding impression stored in the storehouse of the mind. So you get the corresponding uninvited, unwelcome thoughts. Did you understand? You have a corresponding storehouse in your <coughs> mind. For example, of fear. You want to manage your fear, so you have millions and millions of impressions of fear. So there is a storehouse, a reservoir of the mind where these impressions are stored. So you go, you go, you go for your, you go at your workplace and you, the outer situations, you see the outer situations and those impressions triggers an event. So you imagine the fear and the fear. Now, because of those impressions which are stored, has created a thought of the fear. From the thought, then you have a feeling of fear. Now you don't want to use your intellect, so when you don't want to use your intellect... No, let me examine. 
Let me put the mind on a crossroad. Huh? Crossroad, it means should I go there or should I go there? It can only be done by the intellect. No, no, I will continue to live in the fear and then I will ask how to manage my fear. <laughs> fear cannot be managed by taking any kind of a pill. It's a psychological, yeah. it's a feeling, it's an emotion. You can suppress it by taking certain pills, but it cannot go away. My goal is to become fearless. <laughs> so, to discover peace and happiness within me is an antidote to fear and anxiety. Why you are chasing fear and anxiety? Why? No, no, I have to chase it because I have to get rid of the fear. So why you are chasing it? The moment any thought of the fear comes, peace is my essential nature. Change the direction. No, no, I do not want to change the direction. You know, I will, you remove the fear. I will continue to chase the fear. Can you ch remove the fear by chasing the fear? No. no. That is what is happening. Yeah. yeah. So when that happens, so that when that happens, then it is delusion. It is a wrong understanding. When there is a wrong understanding, nothing happens. We continue to fight with an imaginary fear, imaginary anxiety, imaginary duality. I'm not saying, you know, if, if, the, if the tiger is there in front of me, there is a survival instinct of the fear. That That is different from the fear I imagine in my life. Only the knowledge can remove the misunderstanding. Only the knowledge can remove the ignorance. There is no other thing. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of myself. Am I made up of the fear? No. I have to ask the intellect, check it, examine it, find it out. If I'm made of the fear, if my nature is fear, then I'll be happy being scared. Are you happy being scared? <laughs> so why don't I repeat that becomes my mantra, peace is my essential nature, fear is my superficial nature. It comes because of the ignorant mind. It comes because the mind has imagined. You will ask me the last thing that is very important to understand. You are dreaming of a tiger is chasing you and you are running and you are sweating in dream. And suddenly the tiger, I believe you are not scared now. And the tiger caught your neck and suddenly you woke up. Where the tiger has gone? <laughs> two things, remember, two things. Where the tiger has gone? There is no tiger. It's for the dream tiger. But do you still feel the heart palpitation? Yes, I feel it. I feel it. But the cause is gone. The dream tiger was imaginary. So even if you have a dream tiger, 
that will cause a physiological response. It's normal. But now you say, oh, uh, now I woke up and I'm in a real situation. There is no tiger. And then you don't worry about the palpitation of the heart. It comes down on its own. Did I give the answer? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. You tell me I have a very feeling of fear and scared and anxiety. No.